For our first bottle project, we are going to create this lager bottle right here in the center. And in the process, we are going to use the pentel quite a bit. And we are definitely going to be using different shapes and different transformations using the control toolbar. So let's now start creating our first uh, bottle. And uh, I've decided that uh, I don't want to reinvent the wheel. So I'm just going to bring this bottle over. And what we want to do right now is we want to trace uh, the shape of this bottle. But uh, we don't need to be extremely precise about it. It's uh, more of a guideline for us as to how this uh, kind of a bottle should look like. So I'm going to grab the pen tool. And I'm going to make sure that I do have some kind of a stroke and I don't need any fill. And I'm going to zoom a bit, zoom in a bit closer and I'm simply going to start clicking and dragging to add some paths like that. And let me just zoom back out and click somewhere here and if like in this case your path is not following the original too closely you can always just press and hold on the control key in order to temporarily switch to the note tool and now you can just grab one of the notes and maybe just move it or maybe change its curvature a little bit or maybe move this guy just a bit to the left and move this handle a bit to the left, just so your um, so your well paths, your curves are looking a bit better. They are they are closer to the original. But as I said uh, before, we don't have to be extremely faithful to the original in in terms of the exact positioning uh, of our lines. But um, you know, if you want to spend well, if you spend more time, the the, the more time you spend the better the, uh, the ultimate uh, result uh, is going to be. So let me just make sure that I have this node active. So now I can just click maybe down here to create a curve. And again, let me just stretch this guy a bit down. And let's create another one. And let me just zoom back out and click uh, maybe just down here and create another curve and click down here to create a curve like that and of course we could maybe move some guys around some some paths um, adjust the paths adjust the anchor points adjust um, the direction handles to you know make um, this path follow the original as closely as possible but i think that at this point uh, this uh, looks uh, well this looks pretty good so what we want to do right now is we want to close this shape because we don't just need just one path on the left we do need the whole bottle shape so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl j on my keyboard to duplicate this path so right now we have two the same identical paths and I'm going to flip this guy horizontally and move it a bit to the right till it snaps with my bottle or somewhere here this should be this should be all right so what we want to do right now is we want to close this uh, well these two paths so once they are selected let's make sure that we have the node still active because right now we want to take advantage of these actions right here so first i'm going to choose join curves which joins these two curves here in the bottom and then i'm going to use the close curve function so now if we just press shift x on our keyboard we basically got uh, the shape of our bottle um, bottle created but of course we are not done yet we still need to create uh, the cap so for that i'm going to grab the rounded rectangle tool and create a rounded rectangle that is going to be just a bit bigger than the bottle itself. 
And by the way, while you are creating a shape, you can reposition it by pressing and holding down the space key and then moving the shape around to maybe somewhere here. Let's now quickly make it just a bit bigger. And maybe I'll just quickly change its color to this brown so we can see if we are aligning everything properly. Maybe a bit down and let's align everything to the center. And I don't want this cap to, well, to have rounded corners here in the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to off click single radius and I'm going to bring down the bottom left corner and the bottom right corner as well. So what we basically now have, let me just turn on the visibility of the underlying image off by pressing this tick mark right here in the layers panel. So what we basically have is our, well, first, uh, first draft, first basic uh, shape uh, of uh, our lager bottle. And it soon is going to actually turn into a, well, a nice flat design a lager, lager bottle. Let's now take care of the cap before we move on to creating the label. So what I will do is first I'm going to quickly copy this guy to the top. So I'm holding down the control key and I'm going to make it somewhat smaller, both horizontally and vertically. And let me just move it a bit up. And now we can start uh, adding colors. So uh, this guy is going to have this nice uh, orange color. This one will be just a bit lighter like that. And now I'm going to uh, add uh, these little dents inside uh, inside our uh, well on our uh, cap. And I'm not going to create any new shape because I'm going to work with what I already have. So I'm just going to grab this uh, rounded rectangle, I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate it and I'm going to turn it black. So I'm going to use this default swatch right here and I'm simply holding down the control key. I'm going to make it significantly smaller from the center and maybe even a bit smaller. And now I'll move it to the side to somewhere here. And now again, I'm holding down the control key. I'll just clone this guy to the right and then press Ctrl J just a couple of times just to add some more uh, some more dents right here which then we can simply group by shift clicking on them add them to the selection and then group them and then maybe just add this underlying shape to the selection and make sure everything is being nicely aligned uh, to the center now, before we move on to other shapes, uh, let's just add some kind of a definition uh, to our cap. So I don't want this shape to be that flat. I want this cap to be a bit rounded. So I want to make uh, this top path go a bit up. I want to bend it ever so slightly. So before we can do that, uh, we already know that we have to convert this live shape into curves. So I'm going to choose from the context toolbar, the convert to curves option. And with the note tool, I'm going to hover over the top path and bring it up just a bit, not too much. Okay, let me just zoom back out. And again, to add some definition to this top part of the bottle, let's add some shading down here. So I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle that is going to look more or less like this. But what, what's important to understand here is that uh, these lines are, are, of course, curved. So we could try to just um, grab the pen tool and mimic the curvature right here so we can add um, the fill color to our path. But um, that uh, might take uh, too much time and might not be as precise as we would like it to be. That's why I think it's better to just create a simple rectangle like this one. Maybe let's make it just a bit bigger. Put it where we want it to go, which would be somewhere here. And then add our underlying shape to the selection and choose the divide option, 
which would allow us to then remove this element and this element on the left, leaving us with just nicely, nicely curved shape uh, right here and this, uh, this well, shadow definition. We could, by the way, do the same thing down here between the cap and the bottle itself but I'm going to leave it up to you if you actually do want to do that. I'm just going to leave it just the way it is right now. And by the way, this technique, this uh, technique of dividing um, elements is going to prove itself to be very useful once we get to, once we get to creating the labels for our our bottle. Let's create our first uh, label here on the neck of the bottle. And I'm going to grab for that the rectangle tool and create our first rectangle that is going to be maybe this big. This should be all right. Now, what I want to do right now is I want to have the main underline label and then some strokes, actually two strokes uh, at the top and two strokes at the bottom. But again, this path right here this part of the of the bottle this neck is not regular it's slightly bending so what we have to do is we have to use some well some tricks and some path operations to make it work the first thing that i will do is i will clone this rectangle so i'm just pressing ctrl j and i'm gonna make it smaller Till it looks more or less like this and this top path is going to be our first stroke and again i'm going to press ctrl j and i'm going to align it nicely so now we have this path this path and this underlying path so let me just maybe make them different colors just so you can see them better and maybe this guy this color so what is going to happen right now is we are going to divide all of these elements into separate pieces just so we can create a, a nicely looking label. But before we can do that, let's actually make sure that everything is nicely aligned to the center. So I'm going to choose align middle. And now if we add this element, this bottleneck to our selection and then choose the divide option, we are going to have this path, this path, this path, this and this, which we don't need. All these paths are, well, unnecessary, are redundant right here, so we can just delete them. And we can also do the same with the paths on the left. These are all these elements right here. And what we have is this middle path, this top stroke, this bottom stroke, and this bottom stroke, and this top stroke. So now we can just colorize uh, this um, uh, label well just to make sure that it's um, well it's standing out in our design that it's not uh, like uh, fading in uh, with the with the bottle so let's add the proper color like this one and let's now add a something like a like a logo or something like that here in the middle so for that i'm just gonna grab the ellipse tool and I'm going to create an ellipse that is going to look like this. I'm going to give it this light orange color and I'm going to give it this nice stroke that is going to be maybe just a bit bigger, but not too big. Something like two points should be all right. And then let's just put it in the center. And we basically got mm, the first label uh, created. And once, well, since we are here, let's just quickly grab the ellipse, go to the layer panel and expand the stroke just so we, so we avoid any future potential uh, stroke alignment and, um, and width uh, issues. So right now we got the main bottle created, the main shape. We got the cap and we got uh, the first label. So really what's left to, to do right now is to add the main label. And uh, for that, I don't need uh, any strokes. I'm going to get rid of it. I do need the fill. And I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle tool and create a rounded rectangle that is going to be more or less this big. This should be fine. I will also make sure that it's a bit more rounded and I will 
bring it to the center of my bottle, which will be somewhere here. We could always just align everything uh, to the center later, and we will actually do that. But for now, let's focus on this uh, on this part right here. So now I'll just clone this element by pressing Ctrl J, make it significantly smaller. And maybe let's make it even smaller like so. And let's uh, start adding colors as we go. So this guy will be white. And uh, this guy, uh, let's leave it, mm, let's leave it like that. But let's clone this element and let's make it even smaller and vertically as well. And let's give it maybe this yellow color. Okay, so at this point, we might even consider making these elements just a bit bigger, just so they are more prominent here. And actually, let's group them, because now we can select everything that we have right here. So all, all of the elements. And we can simply align everything to the center, just so you know everything looks looks properly, uh, looks uh, looks nice. So now let's just grab the rectangle tool and again create a rectangle, and let's align it with our label. So let's align it to the middle. And what we want right now is we want kind of like a like a stripe. Uh, going across uh, our bottle. So for that, let's just grab this piece right here. So this uh, rectangle and the underlying bottle. And again, let's just divide everything. So I'm just choosing the divide option in the toolbar. So now we don't need this element. We don't need this element. And what we have is this, this triangle, well, this rectangle that actually is not a rectangle because is um it has well it's more like of a trapezoid because it has these edges the left one and the right one slightly bent because of course they are nicely aligned with our bottle so once we make it white and bring it all the way to the back we got now this part of the label uh, complete but we are not done yet. What we still need is um, maybe like a small logo here on the top. And let's say that some text here in the bottom. So let's now start uh, creating the logo and then let's add uh, the text uh, in the bottom. So for that, I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and create an ellipse somewhere here in the middle. I'm holding down the control key, by the way. This should be all right. And I want it to have a white stroke and I want it to have a nice orange, a uh, nice orange fill. Let me just go back a few steps. This should be all right. Now let's grab the rectangle tool and that's uh, quickest by pressing the M key on the keyboard and let's create one rectangle without stroke, just with the fill. Maybe let's make it just a bit smaller. So it's our first line of text. Then let's clone this guy to the bottom and make it smaller and white. Let's say that this is, uh, this is the company's tagline or the product's tagline. And let's bring this guy down, make it significantly smaller. Let's assume that maybe this is the date um, when the brewery was created or you know, some additional text for the product. Right now, we could call it a day. We got the cap, we got the bottle, of course, we got the label one and two. But let me just uh, share with you one uh, little simple trick that would make uh, this, uh, this shape, especially this label, um, a bit, uh, well, I don't want to say complex, but um, I guess this is the best word to use uh, right here. But uh, what I want is I want to add a stroke to this label that would follow the top and the bottom path without touching the left and the right parts of our label. So how can we do that? Well, first of all, we need to grab this underlying rectangle and copy it, or we could copy it to the side. 
because we are going to need it in just a second. And once it's selected, we can add this badge or this label to the selection and simply unite all these elements. So right now, if I just were to add a simple stroke to it, you can see that we are adding the stroke to the whole shape. So here and here as well, which is not something we, we will want actually. So before we fix that, let's just take a look if, uh, if our stroke is looking the way it should. Maybe let's try to make it just a bit thicker, but not too thick. I think this should be all right. So now let's paste our rectangle back in. And let's make it smaller. And maybe before we do anything else to it, let's just make sure that maybe this stroke is aligning to the inside. That's just going to be a bit more well, easier visually for us. And as you can see right now, if we just manipulate this, um, this rectangle ever so slightly, well, actually covering this stroke right here. So this rectangle is covering this stroke, this guy right here. And if we were to expand it right now, this is just a simple path. So now we can grab our rectangle. Let's just be absolutely sure that everything is nicely aligned. As you can see, it's not really right here. So what we could do is we could simply bring it just a bit up and here in the bottom as well. Let's see on the other side. This should be all right. Okay, so now we can just grab this stroke, use subtract. So now that rectangle is gone and all we have is just a nice stroke around our, um, around our label right here. So there we go. We got the bottle, first bottle created. So we got the cap, we created um, the bottle, uh, the label using some simple transformations. And we created this main label um, down here. So actually, before we start, uh, well, before we print this bottle to our main counter, what we could do is we might add um, a bit of a shading to our bottle. So for this uh, technique to work, I'm going to have to borrow this whole bottle. So I'm going to clone it to the right and I am going to have to ungroup everything. So I'm pressing Control Shift and the G on my keyboard. So now all these elements are separate. Right now, let's unite all of them. So let's use the add function. And for at this moment, all, every single element has been united. Um, and uh, we have like a something like a very rough sketch of our bottle. So what we want right now is we want to just have a simple, simple, small part of the bottle that we would um, add a different color to and make it look like it's a shadow. So let me just quickly clone it to the right because we are going to need it in just a second. And I'm going to clone it to the left to maybe somewhere here. And right now I have two identical bottle shapes. So what I want to do right now is I want to be left only with this part of the bottle. So if I add it to the selection and then just press subtract, all I have is this part of the bottle. And if I now just add the black fill to it, move it to the side till it snaps with my bottle and really designers snapping techniques really work nicely here. All we can do is we can simply start printing the opacity down to make the shadow look a bit more subtle and add a nice definition to, to the bottle. So we can do the same thing with the lighting, not just the shading. So I'm again going to clone this bottle to the right, add, it, uh, add uh, the original to the selection, choose subtract. And this time I just want to make it white and then bring it over 
nicely snaps with the bottle. And again, I will drop the opacity down to around 10%, maybe a bit more. So now we got some shading on the right. And we got some lighting on the left. And uh, again, it's uh, totally up to you which, uh, well, which technique you go for. You can uh, leave uh, the, the this black shape here uh, on the right, or you can leave the, the light shape uh, on the left. I'm gonna go with the with this um, this lighting here on the left, and I'm going to select everything, group them, cut them out by pressing Control X. I'm going to go to this bar, artboard, paste this guy in, make it significantly smaller, put it beside the beer mug, like that. And now we can just remove our, uh, our image. And there we go. We got our first, um, first uh, bottle uh, created.